Hello and welcome guys, my name is Plantain Jackson. Today we're going to be catching back up with Pokemon Sword. We're going to be picking up right where we left off. Uh, we're going to choose our first starter Pokemon. So as always guys, please remember to like and subscribe on these videos because it really helps out the channel. If you want to keep up with the series, make sure you follow this channel because we will be taking this casual playthrough of Pokemon Sword from start to finish. And after that, we will be picking up a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Shield. So don't forget to do all that so you can follow this and don't miss out. All right, so we're going to just jump right into it. Uh, last time... It was a lot of intro, but now we're in it. We we got the choice. Um, I was going to ask you guys, but I completely forgot. But I already have my heart set out on one of these Pokemon, which really is the kind of monkey looking one, the leaf one. So we're going to go for that one. See how it goes. I know the leaf Pokemon is probably the least favorite Pokemon in every Pokemon game ever. So I don't know. I... I Genuinely want to give this a shot. So I'm gonna pick the worst and see how it goes. But man, they're so cute. Look at them They're just all so adorable. My god. I can't I can't I can't choose. I'm sorry I'm just gonna to have to end the playthrough now because I can't choose the cuteness is killing me. All right, so Okay, we're going for this one. I I'm sure The grass type Pokemon grew key, eh? Oh, sorry, I, so if you guys are just joining this is going to be the full playthrough so Everybody has their own voices. Let me see if I can remember the glass light Pokemon Gooky, eh? It's soothing like a nice long walk in the woods the grass light Pokemon Gooky it is Is it oh, I don't know uh, I Think so I think so all right Hey Alexa, stop listening to me. God, what is wrong with you? Alexa, stop. Alexa. She just won't shut up. Can I continue now? Can I finish this? Thank you. God, what is that? Would you like to give Grookey a name? Uh, okay, so a lot of you guys out there don't like nicknames, but we will be putting nicknames on these. So I like... I, like, uh, I was going to name him Plank, but I think we'll go for Monkey. I like Monkey. Hey, Monkey has been added to your party. Yeah, I'm five. There we go. I love it. So it'd be Grookey for you. Nice one. You know, go with Schwabble. You're mine. Of course you go with Schwabble. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. And I'll be doing some serious training. Why do they always pick, like, your weakness? I wonder if I would have picked the fire one, would he? I bet you will be, Hup! That's why I brought you along for these Pokemon, you and Plantain. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger to try to reach me! Oh, what about the bunny? Ah. And you'll come with me! Charizard will show you the ropes! He's strict, but real strong, then real kind, too. Ah, that's cute. I hate the moms. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children! Bring along your Pokémon and let's all eat! Well, that's pretty... pretty neat. Hey, You got some barbecue! Oh, that's really cool. Hey! Some shish kebabs. Or how they call them in Spanish, pinchos. With a P in the front. Oh, there you go, the next day. You spent the whole night with your new partner of yours, right? Hop! You two getting along alright? Understanding one another? 
Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course we have, Lee! Plantage made French with his grookey too. Then listen up, new trainers! Believe in yourself! In your Pokemon! If you trust one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me. The unbeatable champion! That's that's what he would say. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Plantain might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose against him or miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion! Just having Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be the first rate in battle, too. Oh, you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper Pokemon trainer, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend. He's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take up Hop in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. We're gonna beat him. Even with type disadvantage. Believe in your partner, Pokemon, and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those things, and I am certain you will learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Ugh, I didn't know this game had dad jokes. Ugh. Looks like every... <laughs> Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read a new book. He left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. That was the wrong voice, but that's fine. All right. Challenge by trainer hop. Let's get into it. Ulu. Ulu. Does he have two Pokemon then? I guess he does. Uh, but I do have a uh, scratch. That's it. Okay. That'll lower defense, so that'll make the scratch more effective. That should knock it out. Oh, the attack fell. Okay, so that'll that'll control it. I should have started with that. So we can take some hits. We'll start the next one with Growl. Cause I honestly, for a starter fight, this is a pretty challenging one. Cause all the previous starter fights usually have only one Pokemon. But I guess that's a level two. Okay, so a little bit of background on me and Pokemon. So the last time I played Pokemon was a while back, but when I did, I used to compete in Pokemon. So I used to do a lot of EV training. So if I get the chance in this game, even if it's a casual playthrough, I will still try to EV train my Pokemon properly to make my life a little bit easier. So this one looks like it has an HP and speed nature maybe just branch book Ooh. branch book actually hang on he picked the water one didn't he so that means i'm his weakness oh that's interesting so that's very opposite from the other games usually your opponent who i'm sorry sabo did you already know about type advantages? Yes, I did. Pound. Um, it's very interesting. So previous Pokemon games always had a adversary that picked uh, type advantage against you. So if you picked grass, he would pick fire. But this one picked water. But I guess since he has two Pokemon, that makes kind of sense. So that's interesting. Let's branch Pokemon a little bit. That should be it. Yeah. Super effective. 
So that means I do double the damage of my standard damage if it's grass against water. Pokemon is just a big rock, paper, scissors game. Hmm. 24, okay, so we got a lot of HP. Seems like we're more physical attack than special attack. You beat me with my Q Pokemon with your one? And that Groki, you and that Groki are too much. You got 400 for winning. Oh, great. Awesome. Boy, well, that's a shock. Guess I know why. Lee thought I he should give you a Pokemon Q. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort there, Groki. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Plantain, you've got a real promise. In fact, I got a favor to ask of you. Be a rival to Hop, would you? Push him, make him both. Make the both of you stronger. Alright, you get want to get stronger and stronger. You see me in battle now, Lee. So come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon gems. You join the gin challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in Gala region? Not putting cart before the rapid dash there, little brother. I guess that was a... That was a Pokemon saying? Is that... Is that what it is? If that's really what you want to do... You two have to... A whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially you, my friend Plantain. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. The trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. You're right, you're right. We get it. Pokedex is in. We're on it. Looks like there's... Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Plantain. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next Pokemon champion, so completing a simple Pokemon X will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell him, mom, your mom that we're heading out to. Okay. Um, so back to mom. Plantain, did you hear that just now? What happened? The gate's open! And that Wooloo that was there! Oh, he finally broke through. Good on you, man! It was tackling the vents pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I met her professor granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Platine, what do you say? We've got to save it. Right? Even if we're not supposed to? This is the kind of scene you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in plantain. Oof. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, you're not going in? Come on plantain, we can just leave the Pokemon on its own. I'm down. I'm okay. Slumbering Wield. My god. Look at this place, guys. Oh, this is awesome. That Wooloo, where do you think you got off to? Well, I don't know, buddy. The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, it might be trouble. Oh, tall grass. Oh, that's it? It's a squirrel! It's a normal type. The uh, cheeks are so full. Uh. I don't think I have Pokeballs, do I? No. No, it's just XP. Let's scratch it. 
Should take two. Yeah. Level two should... That lowers my defense. Yeah. So I should still take two. Could use some XP. Why not? A little squirrel. I like it. Alright, not much to happen there. Sorry that my face is in the way, probably, but, uh... Don't matter. Uh, hey, buddy. Doing alright there, Groki? Let's be sure he's in tip-top shape. I didn't need to heal. He was fine. Hey! Rookie Go monkey! That is scratch. Wow. Oh, that might hurt. Oh, that's fine. Super effective. See, he might be... Or he is flying type. So... He's very effective against grass. If you see a bird, don't fight him with grass type Pokemon. Oh, I guess he can move slow. Oh, that's cool. Alrighty. Is that Wolo? Did you hear that? That was a Pokemon cry out, you think? Well, I guess uh, sneaking didn't really do much there. Alright, we would just might run to progress the story. We're getting into it now, but... Made it. I heard it again. Come on, Plantain, that Wulu might be in real trouble. Come on, run! Oh, you went off into uh, the abyss? This is bad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my page. I think I get it now why this place is off limits. Yeah. No joke. I, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, what the? Leer. Ooh. Uh, question mark, question mark, question mark appeared? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't fight it. You want us to fight it? Well, let's see what type it is. Move has no effect. Mysterium Pokemon. What? That move had no effect on it? Growl? The move has no effect. Plantain! I can't see anything, you okay? I don't know, man. Okay, he's he's going to disappear. Can't see anything. Poor thing. <laughs> Guess we fainted or something. What the hell just happened? Hop! Plantain! Wh what, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way in here? Your pants... Your, your pants with direction. You always get lost. Oh, well, that's nice to hear from my little brother who had me worried sick. I'd be waiting for ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's your Wooloo? We're trying to rescue that Wooloo. 
Oh, there it is. Eh. Little chap's just fine. Though, all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, hop. At least that's Wooloo's all right. Yeah, Plantain? I thought we'd had... Yeah, when a weird fog started rolling in and that Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hup? It seems... It loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just has some sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seem to pass right through it. Moves pass right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wield. Actually, are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we get you for, for Lee. That was an experience. This would make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Well, you're lucky to be alive, my friend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're up to one of the gusts now. She'll go s spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Well, let's go say my, uh, goodbye to mom, and uh, I think that'll be it for today. Let's see, where's she at? Mom! You blinking! We are now in the Grookies, just a sweetheart. And yes, I heard the news from Long Young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off the world of Gus, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something in the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Grookey will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. And you, Grookey, looked after my little plantain. Come home to rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is best. That's kind. Alrighty, guys. I think that's good enough for here. In the next episode, we'll see what our first route will look like and what we have to face. So as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!